Sunderland have announced manager Chris Coleman has been released from his contract after he failed to keep the club in the championship. In a short statement released on Sunday morning, they said, the club would like to place on record its sincere thanks to Chris and Kit, Simons, for their tireless efforts. In what has been a hugely disappointing season for everyone involved with the club, the club is unable to make further comment at this time. Coleman's assistant Simons has also been removed from his position, with both of them leaving with immediate effect. Shortly after announcing Coleman's departure, Sunderland also confirmed that owner Ellis Short has agreed to sell the club to an international consortium of football investors. After nearly two years of trying to do so, Coleman's shock exit from the club comes just days after the Welshman insisted he wanted to lead their fight for promotion from League One following their confirmed relegation last weekend. It hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go, the way we hoped for it to go, but nevertheless, we are still here and I'd still like the opportunity to put things right. Here, he said on Thursday. But Sunderland were beaten 2-1 by promotion chasing Fulham on Friday evening which proved to be the last match of Coleman's tenure. Matches, 28-1, 5 drew, 8 lost, 15 The 47-year-old left Wales after a successful five-year spell to take over the reins from Simon Grayson, signing a two-and-a-half-year contract back in November when Sunderland were rock bottom. Despite inspiring a brief revival, Coleman did not have the resources to strengthen the squad in January and was ultimately unable to stop the slide as a home. Defeat against Burton condemned them to back-to-back -back relegations. His wife Charlotte expressed her disappointment on Twitter. After Sunderland confirmed Coleman would be leaving. Gutted to be leaving Sunderland, she wrote. Coleman was ambivalent about his future as although his desire was to stay he had no assurances from the club's owner with short away in America and leaving the running of the club to chief executive Martin Bain.